1 minute 45 seconds. A full plank for 1 minute 45 seconds. That was my celebration about 3 weeks ago. Hi, Parul Banka here. Now, some of you might ask, what is the big deal about doing a full plank for a minute and 45 seconds? Lots of people can do it and they can do it easily. Well, it was a big deal for me. The way I see a full plank is that it requires three main things. And now I'm talking in a really layperson's language because I'm not a fitness instructor. So I'm not really bringing in the science behind planking. There are three things that are required in doing a plank. One is your legs should be able to support you as you go down on the floor into the plank position. Number two, your arms should be strong enough to take your body weight, to support them as you pull yourself up with the core muscles into the plank position. And the third thing is your core muscles should be able to pull you up. They should be strong enough. Six years ago, when I was diagnosed with cancer and went through the cancer treatment, I lost massive strength in all these muscles. So I could no more bend my legs. I could no more lift more than half a kg weight with both my arms together. And my core muscles were absolutely rubbish. I had to work for two years before I could strengthen my leg muscles, the muscles in my arms and my core muscles enough to be able to get into a plank position. And I couldn't hold that clumsy plank, clumsy, absolutely clumsy plank for more than five seconds. That was after two years of work, consistent work for two years. And then I took another three years before I built that plank that clumsy plank, you would probably not even call it a proper plank, from five seconds to a minute and 45 seconds. Three weeks ago in my fitness class with my fitness instructor, Sarah, I was able to do one minute, 45 seconds, full plank in proper position, not once, but two times. And uh, that was the requirement to do it for a minute and 45 seconds. And that is why when I was able to achieve it, it was a massive celebration. Because for me, it was the culmination of hard work of over five years of showing up and working on my physical fitness, on building my strength. So if you are a coach who is working on building a practice, a coaching practice, while it is important to keep your end goal in sight, it is also important to understand how far you have come. Because there'll be days and there'll be lots of those days wherein you would look at people around you and uh, worry about how far you have to go. Your results would not be anywhere close to where you would want them to be. And so in those days, just be mindful of how far you have come. Because you may have a long way to go, but how far you have come is what would give you the confidence to keep going. So I hope that was useful and I'll see you again shortly in one of the other videos. Take care guys. Stay awesome. Bye.